The European Union's headquarters have been surrounded by tractors and barriers as farmers renew their protest against cheap imports and regulations. The action's been timed to coincide with the meeting of the bloc's agriculture ministers. Our Europe correspondent, Adam Parsons, is there in Brussels. And Adam, just paint a picture for us. What is actually going on there today? So let me just paint you a bit of a picture. Uh, just over my right shoulder over there is the headquarters of the European Commission, which is completely surrounded by police, by barricades. Uh, this smoke you can see here is from fires which are burning just underneath this bridge. Now, we are so near the European Commission here. It's a few minutes' walk. This is main Schumann Station. Uh, and let me just tell you, over there, through this smoke, are effectively the front line of quite violently minded protesters who have been locked in a sort of running street battle with the police. Uh, and in the past few minutes, over there, that water cannon uh, has been firing uh, or shooting hundreds and hundreds of gallons of water in the direction of, uh, of those protesters, largely to try and extinguish a fire, but also clearly to lay down uh, the law, that they don't want them to go any further. The road is absolutely strewn with broken bottles. Uh, I mean, they've been throwing eggs, rocks, and, as you can hear, a lot of fireworks, which create this kind of cacophony. There's another one. Uh, constantly and reverberate underneath that bridge. Now, that is their effort, clearly, to intimidate the police. Uh, and you can see units of police who are uh, waiting to charge forward if necessary. Now, this lot, is it going to overshadow these protests or is it going to add to it? Very hard uh, to say that. Over on a further road there are hundreds and hundreds of tractors that have brought gridlock to the centre of the, the latest in a series of protests uh, across Europe, which uh, farmers say they're holding because they want to protest about what they think is the the unsustainability of their jobs. They say costs are constantly going up, that the prices they receive are staying the same, that they can't deal with cheap imports coming from places like Ukraine. They're protesting against free trade agreements. And also they say things like diesel prices are going up and the governments all over Europe aren't doing anything to help them. So agricultural ministers are meeting here, certainly to look at whether there's anything more they can do. The Commission is blamed for imposing green regulations that are increasing costs further. And I think a lot of farmers feel that they haven't been listened to for years. So that anger is now spilling over into either peaceful protests, certainly noisy protests, and sometimes uh, violent conflicts. And as you can see now, that water cannon has just been deployed again. Uh, by the police here in the direction of those demonstrators uh, over there. I think another sign uh, of just how rancorous these, uh, these protests and this disagreement has become. OK, Adam, thanks so much. We will uh, return to you uh, if anything changes there. Thanks very much for bringing us the latest uh, from a very wet Brussels.